From NBC News, this is Today. This morning on today's Olympic moment, riding the night train to gold. It's been 62 years since the U.S. won a gold medal in the four-man bobsled. But today, the drought is over. Steve Holcomb, Steve Messler, Kurt Tomasevich, and Justin Olson rode their famous night train to the top of the podium last night. This morning, we have them here live. Gentlemen, good morning, and congratulations. What an awesome run. Hey, thank you. Uh, Steve, thank you. You, were, you were carrying history on your back. 62 years. Was, was that in your mind as you were making that final run? Um, actually, we've done a pretty good job the past uh, a year or so to, to keep that out of our minds. We had, had a lot of added pressure that we didn't want. To, that we, we knew there was there, but we didn't want to, to be uh, to think about that kind of stuff when we already have enough pressure doing uh, the Olympic Games as it is but uh, um, you know now now that we've got the gold medal it's just nice to to, to, to relish in those moments. So. The, the Whistler track has become rather infamous for its first difficult turns I think a lot of guys were having trouble uh, turns 11 through 16 one of them I think you named 50-50 uh, yeah. because it's so <laughs> difficult we saw a lot of crashes how were we able to navigate it so well? Um, you know it was actually quite uh, it was quite difficult we uh, had some trouble in the two-man race um, I almost crashed there my very first run down the race uh, two men and uh, I, I decided I needed to figure out something to do uh, I needed to figure out what my problems were I went back and looked at some video watched the other sliders and uh, just basically tried to find the best line through there and uh, I think I picked up a few uh, little hints and little secrets from uh, video and we figured it out and took it to the foreman and uh, let me turn off. to Steve Messer you're in the number three position it's yeah. pretty diff difficult position to be what was your strategy going through uh, it's a tricky track it's a steep it's a, it's a short and it's a, it's a steep drop there we have to be really tight when we load and that's kind of one of the best things that we do to accelerate the sled down the hill so it's something that we practice all the time uh, Park City the, the track that we took you down in is is very similar to the start here so we were able to be on there right before the Olympic Games and that really helped us get our timing together for what we had to do when we got here and, and Kurt I'm wondering talk about the start I mean you guys obviously got some great starts is that, is that where these races are won and lost uh, we'd like to think so you know as a push crew we like to think that our job is just as important, if not more important, than Steve's over there, I guess. But you know, when it comes down to it, it's a it's a team effort, and that's what it takes. And you know, we all do our role, and it comes out golden. And, and Justin, I love it. You've been in the sport what all of three years? It's my third year. And you're on the podium with with a gold medal. Are, are, have you taken this all in? No, the guys always tell me it's not this easy. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. But I, uh, I can testify it's not this easy because a few weeks ago, as you, as you alluded to in Park City, I went went on that run with you, and I tell people. It was the most terrifying 50 <laughs> seconds of, of my life. But it, it's amazing you guys are able to do this uh, so successfully. And and I know, you, you know, we've, we've talked about it before. You went through the eye surgery. Um, your sight is better than, better than it's ever been. Uh, it is. You know, I had a, uh, you know, life-changing surgery uh, two years ago. Um, I had calf keratoconus, and uh, basically my eyes degenerated to a point where I couldn't see anymore. And uh, I basically retired from the sport. And uh, my coaches said, you know, that's not, uh, that's not acceptable. We have to figure something out we were going to stand behind you to, to find a cure and uh, we found a doctor out in Beverly Hills Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler um, who has a new procedure that uh, came through and uh, has pretty much corrected my vision to 2020 well, since then we're so. happy you're healthy we're happy you got the new because he's the guy driving this thing and you got the new dance the hook what is it the hokey the 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 dance is a chance oh, oh, all right, that's it that's there the you go. Oh. all right Steve Justin Steve and Kurt guys Congratulations. Thanks All much. Right, thank you. Great Thanks, having guys. you on. Up next, my sit-down interview with Apollo Ono.